So in this video we're going to be talking about the problems um, that the WTO is currently having because of a man called uh, Donald Trump who has no problem putting um, judges who are not qualified in the US courts but will not put, on new, put in new judges in the WTO courts because he's petty as hell. So the WTO court was sealed um, on Monday. So this was um, an article from last year, December to, um, December 9th. So the fate of the WTO's top court was effectively sealed Monday after the United States said it would not back a proposal to allow it to continue um, to continue trade official set. The Trump administration has been blocking appointments to the WTO's seven-member appellate court body that rules on trade disputes for over two years with the US um, officials saying the court has gone beyond its remit. The appellate court needs a minimum of three judges to function. So there were seven, there are meant to be about seven judges on this court um, by the looks of things, but um, they only need three and they can't get three because of Trump. So Trump's blocking judges, essentially. Uh, uh, another attempt was made on Monday to reach a consensus on laying down arrangements for filling the vacancies, as well as obliging the appeals panel to uh, issue rulings within 90 days. But the US ambassador to the WTO, Dennis um, Xi, um, said other members had not addressed Washington's concerns about what he called the court's overreach and disregard of WTO rules, even though the US has violated multiple WTO rules. And we can see that this is still the case with an article being written in the 15th of March of this year. Um, the appellate court, which requires three judges to open a new case, has been paralyzed since December following a sustained campaign, American campaign. Global Trade um, Supreme Court usually has seven members, but was crippled by the Trump administration's refusal. Um, they only have one judge left, so they can't do anything unless the rules are changed. And we can see that the uh, uh, Brussels and Beijing, so the EU and China have tried to put in countermeasures um, to do these things, to solve um, any issues. And that there was, let's see if I can find it. Um, uh, there is. So in Davos, um, so this, this was written in January, so I don't know how what's happened since then. But in Davos today, countries including Brazil, New Zealand, South Korea, Canada and Mexico have announced they would join the EU and China to form an interim appeal system after the effective collapse of the appellate body. A joint um, statement made clear um, the arrangement will be open to any WTO members willing to join. So essentially they're trying to um, supersede the US in this, ca in this case by making their own appeal system with any member of the WTO open to join. Obviously the US won't join, but it also means that any trade disputes won't grind to a halt and that things can still be resolved. The legitimacy of um, such an appeals process uh, may be open to scrutiny, but we can see some sort of movement. But um, yeah, it's, it's, it's a massive issue. And I think the main reason why uh, Trump is doing this is because the WT rules against um, the US in tariff dispute with China. So anyone who hasn't been following the trade war, um, Trump has effectively led a trade war against China uh, because of the fact that the US imports a massive amounts of Chinese goods. Also the fact that China has allegedly um, not been um, respecting uh, patents and um, other intellectual properties and things like that. And so um, that's another cause of the uh, trade uh, dispute. Also, the fact that manufacturing has moved massively um, from the US to countries like China, who have uh, much lax regulations and workers' rights. And that causes problems with um, competition within the US. But if Trump wanted to solve that, he could have um, he could have tried to get legislation or try he would have got senators within um, the Republican Party to push legislation to uh, punish companies that have outsourced. But he hasn't. So. Um, he hasn't done so on a broad scale. So, um, the World Trade Organization says some U.S. tariffs on Chinese goods do not comply within its rule with its rules, opening the door for Beijing to levy uh, ret retaliatory um, sanctions, which they did on things like soybeans and things like that. The ruling from the WTO um, appellate body on the case, which predates the current trade war between the two countries, was attacked by the U.S. Trade uh, Representative Office, which claimed the report was undermining its own rules. So, you know, I don't know how accurate that is, but um, we can see that the U.S. isn't just facing the ire of uh, China. It's also facing the eye of Canada and Mexico. This news report here. In other news, Mexico has become the latest country to take the United States to the World Trade Organization over Washington's steel and aluminium tariffs. Mexico's economy ministry said Monday it was starting the dispute settlement process because the U.S. was violating WTO rules. Washington imposed a 25% tariff on steel imports and 10% tariff on aluminium imports from Mexico, Canada and the EU last week. Ottawa and Brussels have already filed complaints with the WTO and all three nations have announced retaliatory measures against American goods. The EU also said it could impose preliminary measures to safeguard its steel and aluminium industries as early as next month. 
Meanwhile, President Trump took aim at China and Canada again in a series of tweets on Monday. He said China's taxing on American soybeans and Canada's trade barriers on agricultural products were not acceptable. So yeah, he's he's mad and uh, he's throwing tariffs on other people's stuff, and then he's like, "Whoa, you're putting tariffs on my stuff now. I can't be having that." And so he's salty as hell, and so he's basically screwing the WTO um, of judges because he's salty as hell. In case anyone didn't realize, as hell. And so let me know what you guys think in the comments below. Like, comment, share, subscribe. Um, and anyone in the UK who thinks the WTO is going to save us, um, uh, to quote one band, you know, to amend the words of a band, um, they ain't going to be your hero. They ain't going to be your Superman. And so I'm going to leave it there. Uh, let me know what you guys think in the comments below and I'll see you next time.